everybody. 47 Mark IV here, back with another episode of Absolute Immersive. All right, so today I want to go and do a couple of things. I want to finish some stuff. Like, I want to go pick up the villagers. I know I want to get that done. I want to show you a couple of things that I missed out, and I want to populate our new building. So I think this guy is going to be a power generation center, right? Like, I want to put some power gen in here and maybe some storage and probably start the transfer over to HV. I think we're going to skip right over MV. Uh, you know, I might test it out, but we'll see how it goes. So let's see in here. I've got a bunch of stuff that, you know, we need to kind of go through. So very first thing, let's take this. I forgot to show you one of the main advantages of cloche call. So let's see, let's come over here. I set myself up another cloche, throw a dirt and throw a sapling in there. And you know, growing trees in a cloche is forbidden. Well, not anymore, right? This is beauty of this mod. We now have a way to do trees, right? You don't just have to vein mine a tree farm. And these guys are going great. Like I got lots and lots of stuff. And there's my wood. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Again, you know, saplings are a problem, but hey, whatever. So I at least wanted to show you, you know, you can do that. You can grow just about anything inside those things with this mod. It's amazing. Uh, next couple of things. So I made some more animal nets and let's come over here and I want to make the NPC nets. I think these are the things that I'm going to need to pick up villagers. So I'm going to go ahead and make two and I want to keep these on me for right now because you know, we're going to need them. Oh, and I wanted to show you this barrel too. Uh, let me see. I'm going to take my drill. I'm going to take my drill and I'm just going to pop off a block. So I think I've technically used some fuel. Uh, yeah, 3998. Well, I figured out how to fuel on the fly. You can fill up fuel inside of a barrel and boop, just like that, and then use it for portable storage. So I'm going to take these couple of buckets with me. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I want to go make some stuff today. I want to go make uh, thermoelectric something, right? What do they call these things? Uh, thermoelectric generators. I think I can get some pretty good power out of these because we've got a bunch of uranium. I've been finding uranium as I've been mining. So, I mean, we might as well, and they're not terribly expensive to make constant plates, copper coils, like really not that bad. So I think what I'm going to do, let's take this stuff here and, uh, let's see, I'm going to take half a stack of that. I think and I'm going to start stamping out some wires because that'll help us. We'll take this. We'll make some constant tan. Uh, so let's see right here. Did I get them? I'm always nervous with those. I don't want to break them with the drill. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's get, uh, is it in here? Yeah. Let's get this stuff rolling. So let's see over here. And I put a new ventilation in here. I'm going to try just ventilating the ceiling instead of the block itself. Just want to try something new to learn. So let's see, get you dudes going and you should make pollution. Come on, make pollution. Show me, right? Cause I've got the vents up there and a pump in a chimney. I just wanted to see if we could just ventilate a building. Although I do see a block of pollution way over there, but I mean, that's pretty far away from this guy. Dude, you were making pollution left and right before. Why are you not making pollution now? Maybe these guys are just handling it. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so this thing here, I went ahead and we'll take this dude. Uh, thank you. We'll take that one off and we'll put that one on. I went ahead and made a wire press. And oh, you know what? Let's make that magnet thing. I keep forgetting to make it. And we've got the stuff, right? It was, uh, it was a magnet thing, an anti-magnet. Cobblestone, two sugar, two mushroom, two spider eyes. All right, we got this stuff here. So there's two sugar. Uh, and there's two brown mushrooms. There's a couple of spider eyes and right. One block of cobblestone. All right. So let's make a couple of fermented mushrooms and an anti-magnet block. Nice. All right. Let's make the anti-magnet block because this is kind of what I wanted to help us with conveyor belts that, you know, I was thinking that we could do something like this, right. And then throw that guy there and let's check magnet enabled. And then we throw this on here. And I'm totally not picking up the ingots. Oh, well, am I getting them from magnet? Uh, or is that my personal? I think that's my personal thing here because let's find out if this wasn't here and I've got magnet enabled. Well, maybe it's got a height. Maybe it has to be at a certain height. I don't know. I'm learning about this mod here as we go along, right? Magnet enabled. Uh, dude, do you need a redstone signal or something? 
you don't have any options, right? And maybe it's height. I'm just wondering, is it height dependent, right? Let's just keep trying and learning. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it's like maybe at its level and below. All right. Well, now we know, right? We can replace one of the blocks in the wall. That'll totally work. Okay. And uh, let's see. You. Oh, oh. Are you going to take it out? No. Uh, oh, it did. It did. Nice. Nice. And I saw it. I saw it. I sucked these guys right off the belt. All right. So next thing that I want to get done is, you know, we put in, uh, we put in a mod farming for blockheads, right? And this might make my life easier because, you know, farming. And I wanted to make some of this stuff, right? Golden carrot planks, you know, hay, like just not really a big deal. So let's see. Let's get that. Let's get some gold. We got some carrots here. Uh, it was wheat. It was wheat. We needed, do I have any wheat? Yes, we do. All right. So let's see. I'm going to need some of you and it's probably fastest just to click some of this stuff out, right? Is let's make one of those and let's make one of these. And this is some sort of auto feeding trough and let's try out, let's try the chicken nest. I've never, ever played with this stuff. Uh, I don't think I need the market. I don't think I need the market. I'll think about that one. That's one of those blocks that... Uh, you know what? We, you know what? We should probably, we should probably just do it, right? It's a good test for everybody. Uh, do I not have any red flowers? Do I not have any red flowers? Really? All right. Hold on a second. Uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> right. I've got that one. Okay. I was like, uh, have I not been collecting them? No, I haven't because they're all over the place and there wasn't any need to. And let's see. So four wood and two Okay. All right. I got it. So I need some of that. I'm going to need, uh, where did those blanks go? Uh, hello. Oh, where? oh, they're in my inventory. That's where, and what else do I need? Nothing. Okay, cool. We'll go set up all that stuff. I don't think I need the carrots on me, but I'm going to take the wheat. Uh, yep. Oh, and I probably want to do this while I'm right here. Uh, so this is one of the mods here. Let's see. Where is that thing? This is from tool upgrades and uh, we've been getting a bunch of these. So I got sweeping edge. We got a blank one. We've got this one. That's fortune and they do double things. So this is fortune five or looting five. And the one I've got here is silk touch. And I need that today. So this one can also be protection three or silk touch three. So I just need to borrow a book and I, you notice I got a brand new pick with me. Uh, so let's see, let's do you and you, and you become silk touch three and we need a silk touch pick and let's go ahead and just enchant a brand new pick with it. Enchantment costs 35. Wow. That better be the silk touchiest thing I've ever seen. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's take this out here and let's go play with these a little bit. So we'll come out to the barn. I love having this barn. I really like it. Oh, new doors on it, by the way. I think those look pretty nice. And this is where my new horse lives named that horse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was a great suggestion. I had to run with it. All right. So let's see you dudes. Um, do I put, oh, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it when it's animated in the world and it's going to automatically probably in some sort of block range feed these guys and we're going to make a babies. Nice. I like that a lot. And then over here we can put the Chicones. So Chicone, how about, uh, can I pick you up? Can I put you in there? Are you just going to stand there? No, no, that's maybe I've got to block you in. I don't know how this one actually works. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's grab some fences and make it happen. All right. So let's try a thing here. Let's pick that guy up and you know, let's just block the chicken maybe in the corner like this. I think that'll work. Uh, can chickens hop over a fence? I don't remember. I think they can. Oh, that's pretty ugly. That's pretty ugly. Let's, uh, let's test here. I don't know if they can. But if he can come out, he will. And I think that's how that works. But I really don't like the connected fences there. We might have to do something about that. Can you come out? Can you do it? Uh, you know what? There's a sure fire test. Let's come over here to this dude, right? And let's grab some seeds. And let's see how much this dude wants some seeds. Do you want these seeds? Do you? Do you really want the seeds? Is it, wasn't there a gray one over here? 
Maybe that's what this experience ball is. It was the great chicken rip. Uh, no, I think he's good. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I don't really know where to set up Farming McFarmerman, but it sounds like out here is probably a good place, right? Like, we can just kind of, yeah, can be right there. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, dude was going to die in the wall. He was dead anyways. Uh, yeah, right there. Right, because I forgot. Creepy, creepy dude comes right out. And, all right, I can buy seeds here, which helps me quite a bit. Because I'm pretty sure things like this, right, I can make paper in the, uh, you know, in the thingy. So I can do that. All right. Oh, and I found this thing. I found this thing. Uh, dude, we'll set it right here. That's the seat. <laughs> can I Can I sit on it? Can I sit on it? No, I don't think I actually can. Oh, man, I wanted to sit on it. Isn't that cute? All right. So thing we're going to do today is if I'm going to make those, uh, you know, thermo, electric, whatevers, I know they work best if you have something cold. So let's grab nature's compass here. And let's see. I need... I need an ice something or other. Yeah, I need an ice spikes right there, right? And you are, oh man, you're 5,000 blocks away. Like, serious deal. So, uh, you know what? We're going to use the uranium for one side, but I think we'll probably use regular ice maybe. Uh, I don't know. I've got my, I've got my silk touch pick. We're going to take whatever we can get on the way. And let's go ride that horse. And that horse is super duper speedy. So let me see if I can make my way towards somewhere cold. And oh yeah, I want to go grab those villagers too. You know, I said I was going to go, but I want to do one thing first. You know, I'm always forgetting stuff. And let's make a better saddle. So we've got these saddles in the mod. Oh, it just says Minecraft. I can't remember. This is some saddle mod. I wish I could give it credit, but I can make a swimming saddle, a jump assist, thorns, frost walker, leaf walker, or that one right there, feather fall. So let's make this guy. And I think I just need a couple of feathers. Uh, do I have? I was like, whoo, I have some feathers, right? My saddle and three leather. And we can make leather now, by the way, because we've got the squeezer. Right? So right here, I can squeeze down rotten, fre uh, rotten flesh into leather. All right. So now let's go saddle this guy. And ooh, I guess I can drop off those fences too. Uh, so now let's go saddle that horse. And let's see. So right there, right here. Uh, I think I'm going to hop off you. Oh, I like it. It renders. Nice. All right, that horse. Let's go get a villager. All right, so there's the village that we left the uh, the priest at, and I wanted to show you what this saddle does. So let's just ride right off the cliff here, and, you know, that normally would have hurt the horse, but, ooh, that's more than I want to do, but it didn't. I was hoping it would be more of a slow fall, but, hey, whatever, as long as I don't kill the horse in a hole, I can always dig him out. So we left this dude right over here, all locked up in his box, right? So let's stop here, and there he is. Now, thank you for all the comments about he was going to get, you know, killed through the corners, but this was unloaded chunks, so nothing's really happened since we left here. And, oh, got him. Now, I hope, I hope that he becomes a regular villager when he's done. Now, I need some other villager. 22 wheat? Uh, no bueno. What else could I do? We got to find somebody here who's got a good deal for emeralds. Uh, no, you're only selling heads. Uh, I guess I'm going to peek around. All right, so pretty limited choices, but I think I'm going to go with this farmer right here. I mean, 21 wheat for an emerald's not a great deal, but 15 potatoes, 18 carrots, like, I can I can work with that. So let's, uh, let's take this dude. Thank you very much. All right, Clippy, we are off to go find ourselves something cold. All right, so, you know, I got myself stuck. I'm pretty stuck in this little ravine, and we are so far away from this thing. Like, I haven't gotten any closer. There's a giant mountain that I've got to climb around. So what I think I might do here is I've got myself... Let's, uh, let's go to the backpack here. I've got myself a big animal net, and I think the horse... Yeah, I think the horse is a big animal. So hopefully that works. Oh, this one's unbreaking. Oh, maybe I can enchant these guys. Now, the reason that I want to do this, I guess we'll use water until I can find some ice, is I stumbled on this thing here, and this is having the uh, dungeon kind of feel, right? Like, there's, uh, there's clearly something going on in here, and yeah, this could be part of 
I don't know. I think it's Dungeons 2, right? Yeah, Dungeons 2, right? So there's a big dungeon network right here that, you know, we might have to uh we might have to take a peek at. Yeah. Like this is making me super duper nervous. I'm not sure this is a good idea while I've got my horse and the villagers on me. But now we know that it's here, so I'm going to bookmark this place. And then I think I'm going to try to sling my way out of here. And, you know, well, maybe we'll just use water for the moment and then see if we can go get ice later on. All right, so back from our trip to try to go get ice, this place is just in such a bowl. It's so difficult to ride the horse. I think making an airship is going to be high on my priority list. So first thing, let's go put everybody away. And man, that villager market is kind of creepy. Let's go get a horse or let's put our horse away. Man, I really wish those were in, uh, you know, in treated wood. All right, so horse, villager, villager, horse, right? Nice, and it has my saddle on it. Very cool. And even with unbreaking, I still lost it. Okay, so then let's see. Then let's put villager guy here and villager guy there, and you guys did not change your things. Okay, very cool. Very cool. And do I have new moo-moos? Yeah, we do. Do I have eggs? Uh, yeah, I do. How do I, uh, I just collect them. Oh, very cool. All right. I just wanted to play with those blocks. Okay, so let's go make our generators and let's make a little bit of power. Uh, over here, I've got the constant hand stamping out into plates and it appears to be done. Cool. And I also stamped out some uh, aluminum and steel wires so we can make some stuff there. All right, so let's do the first thing. We've got the uh, thermo whatever mabobs, right? So this guy, I've already made a bunch of those copper coils. We got a bunch of plates. There's some steel. How many can we make? We can make eight. Nice. So we're going to take eight of these guys and let's start working in HV. So let's see. The very first thing, I'm going to need some HV wire coils. So I just need sticks. Uh, stick eight does sticks. Let's make some sticks. How about that? We are going to be so cool on stuff soon. All right. So there's, oh, there's a lot of wire coils. We, uh, hold on. Let's, let's make some more, right? Cause I don't think I need the individual wires for anything. He says that now as he makes massive mistakes. All right. So we got those. Let's make some connectors. So that's aluminum and terracotta. And we are stupid on aluminum. Like, okay, we got, we got plenty of aluminum. So I don't know. Let's, uh, yeah, let's take like 10 blocks maybe. And I'll break those back down and let's make a bunch of these dudes. So for right now, I'm going to need eight. Uh, you know what? 16. Cool. And then we're going to need HV relays, which is aluminum. And it's going to be green dye, glass and iron grit, which is going to be my hammer or the crusher or the marks generator. And I totally want to check that thing out, but we're going to need some cactus. And I believe we got cactus over here. So let's go ahead and let's just grab, no, let's grab a stack and you know, we'll start that stuff cooking down. I think I've got glass. We certainly have plenty of sand. There we go. You go in and yeah, I'll throw that odd one there. And then what else did I need? Oh yeah, we need the hammer. Uh, so let's see, let me get my toolbox. And I'll set this dude. Well, I don't have to set him down. I'll get that. And I've saved up a little bit of this. So I don't know. It was two per. Uh, yeah, let's just get that many. Let's grab some glass. What else was in here? Uh, no, it was just, it's just this. Uh, so let's get that. Cause I don't think I need that many relays and we'll make a bunch of those. And then right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, that made 16, right? So very cool. All right, so we've got the connectors. I've got this stuff. Uh, can I make a transformer? That's a hive. Yeah, we totally can make a transformer, right? HV, MV. Oh, I've got an MV. We have an MV somewhere. LV, hold on. We got to find the MV, right? We had one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's totally do this because we might need one of these just to connect it into the network just for right now, right? There's a transformer. And can I do a capacitor? Steel, aluminum, uh, some treated wood, and one of those, right? And what else do I need? I just need a block of something. I think it's lead, right? Block of lead, and let's get one of these dudes. Let's get some HV storage. Nice, all right, so I got stuff left over. 
Uh, the most important thing, we needed the uranium. So let's take these guys, and I can make eight blocks of that. Man, that's totally working out. Okay, cool. Let's go into our new place and at least play with it a little bit and wire it up and, you know, generally have fun. So let's see. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Right there. Come into this dude. So I think we're going to do everything over here for right now. It's a little dark in here. I need to get better lighting, so we'll just kind of torch it up for right now. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to put these dudes. I just need to kind of lay this out. So you, 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 and you, right? And these guys need uranium on one side, and they're going to get water on the other. So I brought a sink with me. So let's see, if I put, I just want to think this out here. If I put a block of uranium right there, right? That guy can share it. A block of water, and these two are done. Okay? Right? And because you can you can double up like this. Right? So then I do this, and let's get a bucket. Oh, this will be a good time to empty out this water bucket. I had too many water buckets. Right? These guys... Oh, no, they got to be directly across. They got to be directly across. That's right. I'm just starting to remember this now. Because if I put one here... These guys can share, right? I could swear that was a thing. Uh, well, this could be, you know what? This could just be a misread on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's connect it up here, right? So let's see. I need to move this dude back. Let's move this guy back. Let's get you. We'll stick you right there, right? And we'll do you and we'll do you because you should be valid. And I'll get those, and you, and you. Yeah, I can see it filling with power, right? And where's my toolbox? Did I leave it in the house? I left it in the house. Okay, so played around with it for a minute, and I think this is a pretty good pattern right here. So I used two blocks of uranium, and I got eight of these guys down, right? So, I mean, I've got my valid network like this. And, you know, I probably could slide it over a little bit around, but, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I think I'm going to go HV all the way around, right? I know there's some secret formula, but I think HV is probably just a good idea. Uh, let's go get these dudes, and I'll stick that in the middle. Let's go get some fences here. And is that high enough? Like, I think that'll work. Well, I mean, that'll definitely work. And we got to go get a relay. Can I climb these? Yeah, I can. Okay, hold on. It's very wiggly. And so you... There we go. Ooh, take the beating. Let's get some coil, right? You and you. Oh, 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 you're too high. Okay, I was worried that that was going to be too high. Uh, so maybe this will work. Like, it's the stubbiest little post ever. I love it. I love it. Stubby post. Will you allow me to reach the things that I want to reach? Yeah, you will. Okay, because I just need a place for everybody to come. Right? So you and... You and this guy and that guy. Okay, cool. And then let's run it over to this capacitor for right now that this is going to be the default capacitor. And what we'll do here is we'll run into the top and then I'll run out. And we're going to have to set that, right? So let's get the hammer and you're now output. Cool. And then I can come from you to you. And now what I want to know, what I want to know is do these guys act like the other one? So let's say second block above the window, right? So second block above the window. So right there, uh, hello, right there. And then if I whack you with a hammer, oh, you do. Uh, you do a weird texture thing to the block, but I can live with that, right? I can totally live with that. And let's see the power we got in this block. Like that's making really nice power for not having to do anything. Okay, so then I can connect you up here. And I want to do a thing here. So let's, uh, yeah, let's move it up there. And I got to grab some stuff. All right. So let's hook these guys together. So I think I'm going to put a connector up here on the roof temporarily. And we're just going to have to take the beating here. Can I, oop, ah, uh, did it. Right. And we'll connect you two together. And I'll show you how I'm getting up there. It's ugly, but if it works, it works. Right. So I can kind of climb up and then jump. Right? And that totally works. Okay, so then I think I'm going to try to connect you into that dude. So let's stick down the transformer. Yeah, that works. But I think the transformer... I thought you go to MV, right? Do you not go HV to LV? Is there a... Is that the only one? 
Is there an MV to whatever? Or is that how it is, right? Like the transformer only does one to the other? Uh, you know what? We'll find out when we try to hook a wire to it, right? Let's just see. I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, nope. Totally works. Okay, totally works. There we go. And so let's see. Then I can take you and go like this. Uh, hello? You cannot attach this wire here. Oh, because holy cow. Holy cow. Uh, dudes, we're going to get killed, right? This can't be this kind of wire. It's got to be a connector or it's got to be, what is it? Uh, a relay. All right. Well, I mean, let's stick that dude up there and let's go do it again here. Hold on. That's a good way to avoid the fall damage. All right, man, I'm going to have to do something here. We're going to need the ability to fly shortly because we are going to get dead. Uh, come in here and go from you to you. And there we go. And then I should be able to get over there somehow. And I want to disconnect. Uh, I want to disconnect. Well, power's going that way. I don't know. I'm going to rewire here a little bit because we got power going every which way. But that's kind of what I wanted to get done, man. We got new power coming out of the powerhouse and, you know, all kinds of coolness. Uh, we're going to fill that sucker right up. I want the big power bank. Like, there's, uh, there's another thing here. Uh, where is it? It's this guy here. It's from Zeta Industries, right? Zeta? I don't know how you say it. But there is some multi-block battery thing that we want to make. Like, it's not terrible to do. I've just, I've never, ever seen it done. So I want to play with that later on. So I'm 47 Mark IV. This was absolute immersive. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And then I will see you in the next episode. <music>